Okay, so what I want to do in this video is just make sure that your TI calculator is set up so that it is uh, able to show um, hopefully the correct number of decibels whenever we do a calculation. So the first thing you do when you turn your calculator on, I'm just going to hit the clear key and clear the screen and then I'm going to press the mode button. And the mode button brings up how the calculator is um, supposed to display um, numbers and numbers of decimal spots and certain inf pieces of information like that. And for the most part, the defaults are what you, that you see here are what you want. So you can navigate up and down the list just by tapping on the, uh, the blue arrow keys. So the first entry here is just says normal um, scientific or engineering notation. So we want to use normal floating point notation. Um, if that isn't highlighted for you, just use the arrow key to highlight the word normal and then tap the enter key, which is the blue key on the keypad. And that should bring that one and set it up for you. The next setting is to use full floating point notation. Um, this allows the calculator to display a large number of decimals on the screen. You can select how many digits or how many decimals or the precision you want to have in the calculation. And often if this number is set um, either too small or incorrectly, you can have numbers that are going to show up on your screen which aren't going to match the sample calculations that you might be using. So in general, we just always want to use the word float and that means that'll give us the maximum number of um, precision here of uh, in terms of decimals. And then the last one I want to check here is the measurement for um, the, the measurement when we're using degrees or trig functions. Now by default there's another unit there called radian. Um, all the work in our course we use a degree um, as the, the measurement that we're looking at. So radians is a sort of an equivalent measurement. It's kind of like um, kilometers and miles or meters and centimeters, that kind of thing. So we just want to use degree and we'll highlight that. So once you set those on your calculator, you should be okay. You should just go hit the clear button. And then if you want to check to see what mode your calculator is in, um, just hit the mode button again and it should show up um, right there. And you see that. And then if you test your calculations out, like we can do like 25.2, 2.5 times 99.9. And then if I hit enter, um, that we should see um, a decimal number with uh, full floating point calculation there. Okay, so that's an important thing to set up. And then the other thing to know is how to access the statistical features on the calculator. So that is the second function and the VARS key. And then that will give us the different functions that are available. So the two functions that we are using the most here in Unit 7 is the normal cumulative dist uh, distribution function which is item number two, and then the opposite of that, which is called the inverse norm function, which is set up to number three. So in those um, uh, future uh, tutorials, um, if we're using those two functions and we, we write them out, um, that's what you're going to want to access on your calculator. And um, you should be able to get to that through second function bars. And again, if you make a mistake, just hit the clear key, that'll clear the entry. Um, and if you want to bring that menu back, you just hit that second function of ours and say we wanted to use uh, the normal CDF function, we would just, um, we can click the number two or uh, go down to number two with the arrows, hit enter, and it'll then have our function ready for us to add our arguments, um, which we can, we'll do later on in the questions. All right, so that's just a quick setup for your calculator. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, like I say, if you don't have access to this particular calculator, um, there's similar ones. The TI-84 looks is uh, very similar, um, has the same features. I think the keys are exactly the same. Um, if you And so this is that's if you've purchased a calculator yourself. Otherwise, um, you can download the emulation software that's listed on the course website. Um, download it for your computer, unpack it, and get it running, and then you'll have the full equivalent calculator running on your computer just like you see here in this demo.